There is new hope in the long search for little Madeline McCain. She disappeared almost five years ago from her hotel room while vacationing with her family in Portugal. She was just four years old when she vanished, but this week Scotland Yard released a new photo of how she looked today at nine years old. They believe she could still be alive and they're asking law enforcement officials in Portugal to reopen the case. British police have been in close contact with uh, McCann's family. They say they have almost 200 possible leads. Joining us now is Casey Jordan. She's an attorney and professor of law and justice at Western Connecticut State University. Casey, good morning to good you. Morning. Why do they release this information now? Well, we're coming up on the fifth anniversary next week of her disappearance and her birthday as soon as well. We know from the, the handful of success stories that keeping the story in the news is imperative. It's extremely rare, but there are J.C. Dugards, there are Elizabeth Smarts, and, and because hope really does spring eternal in the hearts of the parents, they are very emphatic about making sure we get this age progressed photo out there just in case somebody sees her. Along with that photo, Scotland Yard also released a, a fairly astonishing statement about the case. They say as a result of evidence uncovered during the review, detectives now believe there is a possibility that Madeline is still alive and that's what really ignited this so what do we think mm. that evidence could be well this is the concern is that they are not articulating what that evidence is they're simply saying they they've looked at it they have put a lot of time and resources into this at the pressure of Madeline's parents mm -hmm. now again nothing's wrong with this but it does raise the question is it just a rhetorical statement because what the final solution is that because we don't have her and because we've never recovered a body she could still be alive but other than that they have no evidence that they are letting us know about to explain their thought process. And I think that's why the Portuguese officials are cynical and they're not so eager to reopen the but case. But there's always been a disagreement between yes. Scotland Yard and the Portuguese Absolutely. officials, right, about how you should how they should proceed in this case. Um, it, 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 it's not worth, uh, or it, it can't be overstated, though, um, the importance of cases like Elizabeth Smart yes. when we talk about this case, because nobody thought that she was still alive. Correct. And I have to tell you that I remember the exact time and moment when I saw in the evening news that she'd been recovered. I was never more happy as a criminologist to be wrong about my prediction that she was dead. And yet I have to tell you that of the almost 800,000 children that go missing in the United States each year, fewer than 100 are true stranger kidnapping abductions. So you have to ask yourself, where should we put our attention and our resources? Mm -hmm. Not that we ever give up on the Madeline McCanns and Elizabeth Smarts of the world, but let's never forget about all all those other children who deserve equal attention. You bring up the question of resources. Right. How much money and how much does money play a role in determining whether or not to pursue these? It's it's kind of the dirty little secret. It's it's in fact true that when a child is extremely photogenic, when we have fantastic footage, when they are blonde and blue-eyed and the parents are privileged, let's be honest, those are the ones that end up in the news. And that is why resources really need to, it needs to be a level playing field out there, that people pay as much attention. If a case is old, and by the way, they don't close them, but they do get cold. You have to realize that the resources are probably better spent on recent cases of missing children. For instance, little Isabel uh, Sellis down in, in Tucson right now. You have that window of opportunity, and that is when money, time, resources, police need to be focused. Because the longer that time does pass, the less likely it is the child will be recovered alive. And you can imagine as any parent, you will keep looking until the end of time. If Absolutely. Your child and there's missing. nothing wrong with that. And I have to tell you, when we get these success stories, you always have to be happy that, that the parents didn't give up hope and the police never closed the case. Such a good point. Casey Jordan, thank you. We Great appreciate to be here, it. Rebecca.